A new medical study out today could transform the way doctors prevent peanut allergies. Turns out keeping kids away from peanuts may be the wrong thing to do. Here's Dr. John LaPook. Eight-year-old Evan Woolen is enjoying a peanut butter sandwich. When he was a baby, his mother Carrie thought this would never happen. He was borderline allergic to peanuts. Uh, which I personally think would have developed into a peanut allergy. At 10 months, Evan was enrolled in a study challenging the idea that peanuts should be avoided in the first year of life. Um, I'd had quite little bits of peanuts. Um, um, I had this peanut snack, um, which I had to have about three times a week. Researchers followed more than 600 British babies, 4 to 11 months old, who were considered at high risk of developing peanut allergies because they had eczema or an egg allergy. One group avoided peanuts. The other, that included Evan, ate a small amount of peanut protein every week. After five years, the kids eating peanuts had 81 percent fewer peanut allergies than the group that didn't eat them. That's exactly the opposite of guidelines from 15 years ago, withdrawn in 2008, that recommended excluding peanuts from the diets of infants and toddlers at high risk for allergy. Um, I think this should change clinical practice. Dr. Hugh Sampson is an expert on pediatric allergies who is not involved in the trial. I would encourage people with babies between four and eight months of age to come in and get evaluated and uh, get started on peanut protein if you're at high risk. Today, Evan has no signs of peanut allergy. In fact... My favorite food is peanut butter, which does have a lot of nuts in it. Researchers excluded children who are highly allergic to peanuts based on special skin testing. So Scott, Dr. Sampson suggests that any strategy by parents or other caregivers to give peanuts to either toddlers or infants should definitely include input, input from a health professional. John, thanks very much.